welcome to Ecoholics. So this is a series where I have been doing previous year questions from DSC. I have done solutions to few previous questions. If you want to see those videos, please go to the link in the description box. So in today's video, I will be doing a question from 2015 year paper. So what's the question? It's question number one from previous year 2015, which reads that there are two individuals, one and two, Suppose they are offered a lottery that gives rupees 160 or rupees 80. So two things are happening. So if they get the lottery, either they are going to get 160 rupees or otherwise they are going to get 80 rupees. So each with probability equal to half. So getting 120 or 80, the probability is equal. That with 50% chances, they can get 120 rupees. 160 rupees with 50% chances, they can get 80 rupees. So, the alternative is that the lottery is a fixed amount. So, the alternative to the lottery is a fixed amount of money given to the individual. So, what is the alternative to lottery? That they can get a fixed amount of money. So, assume that individuals are expected utility maximizers. So, they have given us this information that the individuals will be maximizing their utility. Individual 1 will prefer to get rupees 110 with certainty over the lottery. So if individual one is getting 110 rupees, he will not get into the lottery thing. He will say, okay, give me 110 rupees. I'm okay with that. However, individual two is happy receiving a sure sum of rupees 90. So individual two, if she or he gets rupees 90, is happy over the lottery. Rather than facing the lottery, which of the following statements is correct given these statements, which of the following is true. So we have to tell. Both individuals are risk averse. Two is risk averse, but one is lo one loves risk. One is risk averse, but two loves risk. None of the above. So if you can clearly observe this statement, you can see that they want their utility to be maximized. But instead of facing the lottery where there is so much uncertainty, they are happy with a certain sum. So if we get into this characteristic, what we know is that the persons who love this thing over the lottery, they're going to be risk averse. That's quite sure. But in exam, we just cannot go by this reasoning. So let's just do a little calculations and then we can get to our answer. So when, when is an individual risk averse? So an individual is risk averse if the utility is concave. He is risk lover if the utility is convex and he is risk neutral if utility is linear. So from the given information to me in the question, what I can be sure of is that both the persons have a monotone increasing utility function. That is, if they are going to get more money, their utility is going to increase. That's why instead of getting the lottery thing, they were happy with a sum of 110 with certainty and a sum of rupees 90 with uncertainty. So it's very sure from the given information that they have a monotone increasing utility function. So let's just find the expected utility of both my persons. So expected utility, how do we calculate? So So what is the probability that I will be getting 160 out of lottery? That's half. So half utility when I get 160 plus half utility when I get 80. So what I get? I will get utility 160 plus 80 utility 240. So I'm doing this so that I can know what's going to be the expected utility. So by 2, it means utility 120. So it means that whatever will be their respective utility functions, if I put 120, that is going to be the expected utility. So that's the thing. So according to the given information, because they were utility maximizers, so they were happy with getting 190. So if they are expect uh, their utility maximizers, they will always prefer getting a utility of 120. Like the utility they get from 120 rupees will always be higher than the utility they get from 90 or 110 because of their monotone increasing utility function. So it means utility of 120 rupees will always be preferred over the lottery. So it means the expected value of the lottery is always preferred over this gamble. So 
from this what can i make sure is that they are for not sure they are not risk lovers so they are the risk averse person because they are expecting their expected utility whatever they get from the expected utility that will be preferred over the lottery from the given information so from the given options i will go with option number a which says that both individuals are risk averse so that's my correct option so this was the solution to question number 1 of year 2015 if you want to see more such solutions please like share subscribe to the channel thank you everyone